So in the next property, let us see how area of the triangle is related to the in radius. So now if you take ABC as the triangle, let I be the in center. We have already seen that the perpendicular distance of I from all the three sides will be equal to the radius of the in center smaller. So if you draw the perpendiculars and if you join the three vertices with the in center BI, AI and CI. Now what is the area of this triangle? So area of BIC delta of BIC is equal to half times base BC can be called A times the height is nothing but smaller. The height is nothing but smaller. And what is delta B I A? What is the area of this triangle? So the area of this triangle is half times the base here is A B. So I can call it C times the height is again equal to R. Because the perpendicular distance from I onto A B is R. What is delta of A I C? half times AC times that is B times R. So the area of this triangle is half times AB times R. Now if you add all these areas, you should get the total area. So the area of triangle ABC is equal to the sum of these three. So R by 2 times A plus B plus C. That is nothing but R times A plus B plus C by 2 is usually called S. So delta area of the triangle is also equal to R times S or in radius of a triangle is equal to delta by S. So if you want the in radius, just need to divide delta by the semi perimeter and delta is equal to R into S. So these are the formulas connecting the area of triangle with the in radius. So the next formulas are the extension of R is equal to delta by S. So this is a formula which I have already derived. And from this you can also derive R is equal to S minus A times tan A by 2 or S minus B times tan B by 2 or S minus C times tan C by 2. And R is also equal to 4R sin A by 2 sin B by 2 sin C by 2. So these are very easy to derive using the half angle formulas which I have already known. So if you have, if you are asked to prove this, so S minus A times, what is the formula of tan A by 2 root of S minus B into S minus C by S times S minus A. So this S minus A inside the root cancels one root S minus A and root S minus A is remaining. So this is nothing but root of S minus A into S minus B into S minus C by root S. So if I multiply and divide with root S, so the denominator becomes S and the numerator you have root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C is nothing but delta by S. So S minus A times tan A by 2 is exactly equal to delta by S which is again same as R. And similarly, if you just write the formulas for sin A by 2, sin B by 2 and sin C by 2, you'll see that everything will get cancelled out and you again get 4R sin A by 2, sin B by 2, sin C by 2 is equal to delta by S. I encourage you to do this derivation by yourself. So the formulas for in radius are three types, delta by S or S minus A tan A by 2 or S minus B tan B by 2 or S minus C tan C by 2 or 4 R sin A by 2 sin B by 2 sin C by 2. So the next formula is regarding the distance of in center from vertices. So if you have a triangle ABC, if I is the in center, if I ask you the distance of this in center from vertex A. So how do I get it? It's very simple. So if you join AI, we know that it bisects the side, it bisects the angle A and if you draw a perpendicular from I onto AB or AC for that instance, this 
length of perpendicular will be equal to r right now in this right angle triangle what is sin a by 2 sin a by 2 is equal to ai by r so r opposite side by hypotenuse r by ai this implies ai is equal to r by sin a by 2 or the distance of in center from the vertex a is nothing but r cosecant a by 2. So this is a general formula if you want the distance of i from vertex b, b i will be equal to r cosecant b by 2 and c i will be equal to r cosecant c by 2. So the distance of the vertex from in center can be very easily calculated by constructing this right angle triangle. So next if you want the length of the complete angle bisector also you can find it very easily. So how do I find it? So what is the area of triangle ABD? So triangle ABD area plus triangle ACD area is equal to area of triangle ABC right. So what is the area of triangle ABD? So I am going to find the length of angle bisector. So I will try to retain that angle bisector in the expression. So half into AB into AD times sine of A by 2. Half into product of two adjacent sides into sine of angle between them. So half times AB times AD times sine A by 2 plus what is the area of this triangle? Half times AD times AC times sin A by 2 again is equal to what is the area of the complete triangle ABC half times AB times AC times sin of angle A. So if these gets cancelled and in these two terms AD sin A by 2 is common. So AD times sin A by 2 if you take it as common. AB is nothing but C, AC is nothing but B. So AB is nothing but C, AC is nothing but B. That is B plus C is equal to AB is nothing but AB is nothing but C times AC is nothing but B times sin A. This implies AD is equal to AD which is the angle bisector is equal to BC into sin a is 2 sin a by 2 cos a by 2 divided by b plus c times sin a by 2. So sin a by 2 and sin a by 2 gets cancelled. This implies ad is equal to 2bc by b plus c times cos of a by 2. So the length of the angle bisector is 2bc by b plus c times cos of a by 2. This is the angle bisector of angle A. Similarly, if you want the angle bisector of angle B, BE is equal to. So, if you want the angle bisector correspond to A, you have A here and the remaining two sides here. So, if you want correspond to B, you have 2ac by a plus c times cos b by 2, so on. So, if you want cf. 2ab by a plus b times cos c by 2. So we know the length of the bisector up to ai and we know the total length also. So from these two we can find the ratio of distances ai is to id also. So once we have the length of ai as well as length of ad the next theorem that you have is the ratio of ai to id will be equal to the sum of the sides by the opposite side. So ai is to id is b plus c by a or ai by id is equal to b plus c by a plus b plus c. So both these theorems are same. If you do the component over this, you get this. ai by ai plus id which is equal to ad is b plus c by b plus c plus a is a plus b plus c. So how do we prove this? We already have these two results. AI is equal to R cosecant A by 2 
AD is equal to this. So let us see if the ratio of these two is exactly same as B plus C by A plus B plus C. So what is AI by AD? So R times cosecant A by 2 is nothing but R by sin A by 2 divided by 2BC by B plus C goes up into cos A by 2. That is nothing but R times B plus C divided by BC times 2 sin A by 2 cos A by 2 is sin A. <coughs> now half BC sin A is nothing but delta. So R times B plus C by BC sin A is 2 delta. Now we know that R is equal to delta by S or R by delta is equal to 1 by S. So R by delta is 1 by S. So S comes in the denominator. So B plus C by 2S which is B plus C by A plus B plus C. So AI by AD the length of AI by the total angle bisector is the sum of the adjacent sides by sum of all the sides. Similarly, if you want just AI by ID, so you, you have the sum of the adjacent sides by opposite side is the answer. So these are the properties that you need to understand about the in-center.